yeah, this is Matt Guy. Uh, this is the first time I'm recording for this particular channel. Um, I'd like to talk about this TI-84 Plus um, calculator. Um, <clears throat> what I experienced about uh, about a month ago was that my calculator all of a sudden it stopped working. It freezed on me. So when I um, changed the battery, figure that's what it was, <clears throat> turns out it showed, as soon as I turned the on button, I had this thing TI-84 plus 2.43 RAM cleared with that cursor not blinking. Okay, right now the cursor is blunk, uh, blink, blinking, right? Well, <clears throat> so I looked through the internet and trying to figure out what it was. The second time when I pushed the on button, that screen clears and it the cursor is not blinking and none of the button was working um, I can't even turn it off so um, I found out that it probably that lithium round battery in the back which is um, um, right in there okay it's a circle one so here's the one that uh, um, Here's the one that uh, I used. I took it out, and this is what the lithium battery looked like. Okay, and I tested with the tester, and yeah, it was it was low. So I went ahead and <clears throat> uh, order uh, three of them from eBay, and uh, you know, uh, just waiting a little time was all, and I put it back on here, right? And when I did that, it still had the same thing, same um, RAM clear, but you know, no cursor was, bl uh, you know, blinking. So basically, what I did next uh, was start looking through the internet, see what was going on, and some people say, "Oh, just throw that thing against the pillow uh, five times or more or something." I I was desperate, you know, where I did that. Well, of course, it didn't work. Um, so, you know, um, some advice saying, you know, uh, push the clear button and then uh, disconnect the battery and then reconnect it and see what happened. It didn't work. Um, I did it as far as even uh, leave off all my battery and or even the, you know, lithium battery out and, you know, wait six hours or longer. I waited for like 24 hours and put it back on. Uh-uh. It didn't work. Same thing. No cursor was blinking. The uh, screen was frozen. So, you know, um, and yeah, the manual says uh, push the clear button twice. That doesn't work. You do second but uh, second function with quit. All right. I did that. That doesn't work. I mean, so <clears throat> you know, by trial and error. I mean, I struggle with that, and you know, I end up. Um, somehow one day it came back on. Well, what happened was I uh, left that RAM clear screen on and just left it on. And overnight, the uh, the calculator was off. The screen was off. So basically what I did was turn it back on and voila, the screen was blinking. All right, so wow, I fixed it. And then, uh, you know, that morning I was all happy, you know, after all, this is my lucky calculator. And then, um, turns out in the evening it went back to that frozen screen again. Oh, so, uh, um, I took, a, I took the battery out and lithium battery out and tested with my, uh, uh, uh circuit t tester and turns out it was used about, you know, not much, but it used, uh, I guess, you know, enough to send the, you know, uh, digits kind of low on the, on the voltage scale. So what I did was I went ahead and changed another lithium battery because that previous lithium battery, I had it on for, you know, I don't know, I played with it, uh, you know, with a frozen screen, I left it on for, you know, four or five days sometimes and just, you know, I don't know. It was just one of those uh, trial and error moments. 
And then uh, when I uh, put the new lithium battery on it, again, it's frozen screen, but this time, by my experience, I had, you know, I had before, so I had it, had, you know, I left the RAM clear screen on without, you know, turn the on button twice. I mean, on button twice, it would be like frozen with one cursor up there with blank screen. So this time, again, I left it, you know, um, RAM clear screen on the way it is, and then I left it for a few hours, and then the computer went off. So I turned it back on, and now it's blinking, and everything else is working. So at that point on, I had no problem with, uh, um, um, you know, um, this computer, uh, this, this calculator. Um, you know, I even called the tech. That's how desperate I got. And they want something like $65 uh, plus shipping and tax and all that and somewhere around $70 or so. And they will furnish another one. That's all they say. They, they won't help me on anything. So I had to figure this out by myself. So next time if this thing has problem with that, uh, that particular problem, all I have to do is change out, well, I'll change the fresh battery also, but change out the lithium battery and leave the screen on at uh, RAM clear screen and then leave it on and it may take six hours it may take I don't know just as long you know you just got you just gotta wait till that calculator goes off by itself and when that happens uh, seems like calculator will come back on, on and works out great so so you know now I have a uh, great uh, calculator back again I feel like I'm I got the uh, calculator uh, all working great. Um, so even graphing, you know, all that works. Uh, X to the second power plus two, and then I want to graph that, and it, it sure works fine. So yeah, I, I mean, I'm glad this thing is back. All my uh, stat functions working. Um, you know. Um, well, anyway, it, it all works out, works out fine. My math function, um, all that. I end up buying my daughter, eighth grader, uh, silver edition, pink. She doesn't like black, so uh, it's mine again. <laughs> She's been using this one before, but now it's all mine. So, yeah. Well, um, when you have that problem, don't throw away your calculator. Don't think it's you know, done and chunk it to the trash. I mean, there's always a um, way to get this uh, calculator, come back, calculator come back alive. So, here it is. Thanks. Bye.